Hello, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk, and here I have the Samsung SJH i780. Um, obviously, this is the orange branded version of the device, but you can expect the unbranded vanilla version to be pretty much the same as this. So, let's have a look what we get inside the box. On top, we have the Getting, getting Started disc and the Getting Started Quick Reference Guide. Um, no actual printed manual as such, it's on the CD. Also, inside the box, we have USB sync and charge cable. It does have a proprietary connector on one end and obviously standard USB on the other. I know I've mentioned this a number of times before, but I really do hate these proprietary connectors for devices. Um, they mean that you have to buy a specific sync and charge cable and um, specific mains, mains adapter as here. In order to charge a device, you can't just use a standard mini USB, unfortunately, but there you go. As I said, the headphones, again with that proprietary connector, an inline microphone with a push button, and headphones, obviously, on the other end. These are the same sort of headphones that come with the i600, which we've reviewed in the past, and I can tell you the headphones are actually pretty good. Okay, so we have the device here on top. I'll just peel off the screen protector there. That's the i780, and we'll turn to that in just a moment. We have the battery cover. Two standard batteries included with the i780. Interestingly the i600 um, did have a extended and standard battery but this is just two standard. Finally inside the box we have this charging caddy which allows you to install your batteries and charge the battery without using the device itself which is quite useful so you've always got a battery on standby. So let's remove all that to one side and let's install one battery in the device and just before we close that up mention that is where your SIM card goes just underneath, underneath the back cover. So the back cover goes in place so let me turn it around and there we have it. Right so on the front we have a VGA camera front facing for video conferencing and so on below that we have our screen which is 320 by 320 pixels which is uh, quite unusual to have such a large square display it is a 2.5 inch diagonal below that we have our soft keys send and phone keys a windows key and an ok key and there is this navigation joystick type thing in the center it does press down and rock up and down but it is an optical joystick um, which we'll mention more in just a moment so below that is our QWERTY keyboard very similar to the i600 quite a positive keyboard which you can use with two hands two thumbs or quite easily single handedly um, which is quite nice on the right hand side we have a soft key that can be programmed to use the camera and so on there's a cover over the micro SD card slot worth mentioning that uh, on the i600 they had the, exactly the same thing and if you are removing and installing your micro SD card frequently there's a tendency to lose this cover uh, or to break the cover off and the same with the cover just above which is over the sync charge and audio connector uh, again if you are using that frequently there is a tendency to break this quite easily it is only held on by a small rubbery piece there on the top we have the power button which I'm going to just press and power the device up and the home for the stylus because this isn't a smartphone device it's actually a Windows Mobile Pocket PC so there is a touch screen so just put that back inside there is an up down volume control nothing else on that side on the rear we have just a standard 2 megapixel camera no flash, no mirror for taking pictures of yourself and a grill over the loudspeaker so one device powers up let me just mention the specification the specification on the i780 is pretty good it's a 624 MHz processor it's 256 MB of ROM and 128 MB of RAM so it should be quite a rapid device it's quad band has GPRS, Edge, 3G and HSDPA as I said 320 by 320 touch screen display so I'll just get my stylus out now Bluetooth 2 and built in Wi-Fi and built in GPS so if we just take a look on here and I'll press cancel, I haven't got a SIM card installed as you can see there is the uh, personally I hate the orange customization I always uh, disable that but 
there is an orange customization there but in the center there you'll notice that there is a cursor which can be moved by using this sliding your finger over this optical joystick arrangement on the front now personally I don't think cursors work very well with Windows Mobile and Pocket PC devices um, I prefer to use a touch screen um, but it is there if you choose to use it it can be disabled so going into the program menu all the icons have been customized with this orange theme again I really dislike uh, customized icons I prefer to see Windows standard icons it is also slightly confusing work moving from one device to another and seeing the difference in the icons so nothing terribly exciting in there it's all pretty standard stuff and into the settings menu again all pretty similar this time the icons haven't been customized which is it is much better but we can change the today screen and we're going to change it from the orange today screen to the Samsung and we're going to change the items to standard Windows Mobile icons and turn off the orange customization and OK that and then we have something that's rather more standard rather than the orange customization but you can see the use of the orange icon still um, and we'll look at a way of actually reverting back to standard Windows mobile icons. I did mention the built-in GPS but there isn't any pre-installed software for mapping or navigation so you will have to purchase separately your navigation software such as TomTom or Copilot or use one of the free mapping packages such as Google Maps. One thing I will mention while I've been using the touch screen is that although the front of the display is completely flush uh, if you can make that out there the actual LCD is set back quite away from the front of the screen so when you're actually touching the screen uh, it feels as if your stylus is a considerable distance from where you're actually tapping on screen I don't know if that makes any sense but basically there's a, there's a, there is a considerable difference between the tip of your stylus and the actual display that you're touching it makes the touch screen feel slightly less responsive than you would expect so just put that away and I'll bring in the Titan 2 as a size comparison as you can see the i780 is longer uh, and slightly wider but is quite a bit thinner it weighs a little less than the Titan 2 not a great deal but the fact that it's thinner means it will probably slip into a pocket slightly easier uh, it's quite an attractive looking device and one that I'm looking forward to reviewing over the next week and I'll be posting the review online pretty soon